perspective? Just what was the last 10, 12 days like? <laughs> it's been um, it's been eventful. Uh, it's been eventful, um, but it's been really, really good. Um, I'll say once the focus is constantly the, the student athletes and the players, I think that makes a lot of this stuff a lot easier, to be honest with you. I think um, the staff has done a really good job of that. And that's constantly been the focus of what we're doing and, and why we're doing it and the things that we're doing and everything else. So um, in regards to the focus and everything else, I think it's been really, really good to say, it, to say hey, man, everything is kind of centered around those student athletes, and that's where we're going to keep it. I'm sure. I hope that there's a bowl game to prepare for when a lot of guys just don't really – didn't have a lot of answers for a while. Sure. I think it, it's, it's huge. It's huge. It kind of is able, other than the student athletes, that you're able to kind of direct the focus on to something. And not just that, but it's who we're playing to. It's not like we're playing against just anybody. We're playing against a story program and, you know I mean, a, really good players, a historic coach and things like that. So um, the guys are excited. They seem to be really, really excited, which is really good. And so just trying to make sure we do everything we can do to make sure that they have the best bowl experience as possible. How has your responsibility changed the last two weeks? <laughs> It's a lot. Uh, uh, just you know, when 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 you when you get when you get the interim head coach tag, um, it's not just you're not just dealing with just the players anymore. Um, you have you have assistant coaches, you have support staff, and everything whose life is kind of held to skelter a little bit. Um, just you know, what I mean, understanding and know what they they have life decisions to make also. So um, you know, you try to make sure that you do a really good job of keeping that stuff and. In, in consideration when, when, when you're planning things out as well. But um, I tell you what, just I work with a bunch of really, really, really good people. And, uh, and the reason why I say that, their, their constant focus is no matter what to make the best, best bowl experience for the players. So um, that makes it a lot easier also. You mentioned, you? Those, you mentioned those life decisions. Have you contacted Dan about retention or if, uh, talked to Mario about going I, over there? I tell you what, my focus has really been on been on these guys. Um, it really has. Uh, definitely know that there's there's things in the balance and, and, and when it comes to that. Uh, definitely we'll have time at, at some point in time to be able to focus on that. Uh, but right now my focus is to make sure that this experience is really, really good for those guys because they earn this opportunity. And you, and you don't want it just to kind of go by the wayside. As a Georgia guy, I'm sure you knew Dan anyway, but you called plays against him at I'm the very sure. least. So yep. what is your connection and, and relationship with him before well yeah I, I would say this um you know I mean as well respected as he is I mean he, he's an even better person um I mean just I mean just with, with, with Dylan and what he's going to bring here to the program um I mean everybody around uh, everybody in, in regards to the Oregon program should be really really excited because uh, they're getting a really good ball a really good ball coach and an even better person so um I'm really excited to see you know what what he's going to do at Oregon and what he what he's going to do here and with the, with the players and everything else uh, that that he'll have access to, I think it's a great opportunity for him and I'm really excited to see what what you know what, what he's going to be able to do. Are you playing the coach receivers too in the game, or have you elevated somebody up to, to have that? Op yeah, a little of both, a little of both. It's kind of hard for me to kind of give that stuff up. Um, to be honest with you, <laughs> it, it, it's kind of my place of of, of, of peace right now. Uh, in the midst of going in there, I can kind of leave my phone out and just go in there and kind of be able to coach the receivers. But but uh, but 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 David Gilbertson has been able to kind of come in and been able to help a bunch in that regard too. So um, it's been really good to kind of have him there, and 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 obviously he's been he's been such an important piece of the staff this whole season too. So nothing's really kind of new for him. Just just being being able to kind of assist me in that way uh, is really, really good and glad and been, re been real blessed to have him. What have you learned from past experiences as interim for this one? Yeah, uh, I tell you, the, the, the biggest thing is that the players are easy. You know, the adults are the ones that are crazy. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, that's that, that it, like I said, it, it, it really helps to um, know and understand that you're coaching as much between the ears as you are anything else. Um, I mean, it, it, like I said, man, this this is a crazy time, and everything in the world is telling these guys not to focus on this game, and um, that's that's what I've been really, been really really proud of our guys. They've been able to kind of block that stuff out and still do a great job, regardless of what's going on out there, and understand and know that we have a task at hand, and that's what we're trying to do. Considering uh, with that point, considering what the last two weeks have been like, how do you keep them? the morale up and yeah. motivated throughout all of these tough times and adversity. Well, that's a daily, that's a daily thing. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just a human nature to kind of be, want, want to look at stuff. And, and, and I'm, I'm very well aware of the, of the people and everything that's kind of pulling, pulling at the fabric of, of those guys a little bit, but i um, just always constantly being able to remind these guys why they do what they do, uh, understand that, that they're special. 
You know what I mean? That this is a special group and, they're, and that they're special and that they need to be able to act special and being able to block some of that stuff out. Um, right. You know, so, I mean, just doing a really good job of that and just constantly focusing on the task at hand. So being, being able to always put stuff in front of them to help motivate them before practice or before walkthrough and after practice and after walkthrough and do different things to kind of make sure that you're staying in front of them. Um, it, you know, just help, helps with keeping a good message constantly right now in front of those guys too. Personnel-wise, any opt-outs besides KT and uh, DJ James and well, Jason Jones going to the portal? Yeah, no, I think, um, you know, a lot of that stuff is, is still, I mean, there's still a chance for, for, for a couple of those things. Um, to be honest with you, I want to leave that, leave that stuff on their timetable a little bit because um, I know that, that, that there, might, there might be some things that are getting worked through in that regard some. So, um, but right now we'll keep, we'll keep that stuff in-house until we know something for sure. And, and we'll, you know, during that timetable, we'll, we'll be ready to announce things, things of that nature. In terms of guys who are working their way back, yep. just are Drew Mathis, yep. Bennett Williams, Sean Dollars, Keon Ware Hudson, are they practicing right now? Are they back on the field the in any way? The closest guy to be able to help uh, would be Bennett Williams. Um, I think he'll be questionable at best, to be honest with you right now. Um, but he's doing a great job of, of working his, working his way back in there. So of the guys who haven't been available, he is the closest to be able to help out and, and help out and play. For you, uh, what, did it, what did it mean to know that the Oregon administration wanted you to, to coach this? Inter uh, the well, it, 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 means, it means a lot. It means a lot. Um, just, 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 uh, just, you know, them having trust in me to be able to kind of hold it together and, and keep things going in a good direction. And uh, shoot, man, just understanding and, you know, kind of to go back to the, the, the question that I got asked earlier was that, uh, man, we got a chance to win 11 ball games in a year. You know, I mean, there's not many people out there right now in college football that, that say they have a chance to do that. And again, uh, just know we, we have we have we have a we have a big we have a big challenge ahead of us too. So um, but just knowing that, the, that that they trusted me to be able to do that, man, it means a lot. It really uh, also the players seem like they supported you on Twitter too as well, was very vocal. So how does that what does that mean to you? Well, I, I, you know, I, I got told that I'm not much of a Twitter guy my, myself. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it, it, it does. It means a lot. It means a lot. You know, uh, just because, um, you know, with support, that comes trust. You know, with support, that comes trust. So uh, I really I really feel, I mean, I'm grateful for the trust that they have in me. I'm really for the, uh, and then I trust them and, and really for the, really grateful for the trust that they have in each other to be able to go out there and be able to kind of, like I said, block some stuff out to keep the main thing the main thing, so to speak. Yeah, it's been a long Anthony time. Brown set in stone as the... The start, is Anthony yeah, the right now the quarterback situation hasn't changed. Um, has, it has not changed. Uh, I mean, those guys are still doing a great job of, of, of getting mixed in there. Um, so we'll, we'll see if anything does change between now and then. Then, you know, we'll see. But right now the quarterback situation hasn't changed. Sometimes we see bowl games be opportunities for getting a lot of players playing time. Yep. Other times we see guys just try out, win the game. Sure. How, how do you approach that? Well, anytime you play, you know, as 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 – as a coach, you know, as a coach once said in, in, in a press conference, you play to win the game. You know, you play to win the game. So you want to do everything you can do to make sure that these guys are in the best position to do that. Um, so, like I said, man, if winning and losing didn't matter, then you wouldn't keep score. So right now, as long as, as, long as we have an opportunity to go out there and play, we're going to do, we're going to do everything we can do to, 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 to give, our, give our kids the best chance to go out there and win the football game. The wide receiver room looks a, a lot different at the end of this regular season than it yeah. did at the beginning. You know, you got injuries, yeah. uh, transfers, guys stepping up. Yeah. What have you seen from, from your wide receiver room? You know, uh, Devin Williams uh, is really turning it around. It looks sure. like coming on at the end, and then young guys like Chris Hudson yeah. are, are stepping up. Yeah, I think uh, – I mean that's just that's just those guys, man. Just you see the natural progression in some guys, which is really really good. Um, and and that comes with work, that comes with uh with, with constantly focusing on you know getting better at your task. And I think all those guys have done a really really good job of that. So um, I mean it's it's always good to see guys' hard work pay off and, and everything else. And so uh, those guys are a direct result of that. So I'm I'm excited to see how how the bowl how, how this bowl game is going to turn out and. And um, you know, because those guys are continue to work and still and still continue to work to get better. Uh, you're, obviously, you had some interim experience before, so yeah. how how can that help you in a game like this? Well, you know, I, I got I got 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 asked that also, and so I mean, I think uh, you know, just like I said, just really being really being considerate of the adults also. You know, um, like I said, man, it's a lot of uncertainty. You know, got guys that quite frankly don't know what they're going to do with themselves and their families, right? You know, and so you have to do a really good job of taking that into consideration too. Um, it, it's, I mean, as much as the much the focus is the kids, and it is the kids, uh, but to sit up here and act like guys that you've worked with every single day is not going through those life, going through those life things. I think, um, 
I think it's not right also. So, um, I mean, but just being really, really careful to make sure that you're always towing that fine line. But again, man, everybody, I, I work with such such good people that the, the focus has constantly been the kids. And, and, and I think you know, as long as that does not change, we'll be okay. For, for Oklahoma, they're, they're another team like you guys that has yeah. gone through a lot of change since the conference championship week. Um, you know, they have departures and a lot of movement. Has it made it kind of difficult, you know, to, to kind of scout them? What's that process like since yeah, there's a, a lot different. of unknown? It's a little different, but, you know, it's, it's the way of college football right now. You know, it's, it's so we're not the only team going through it. They're not the only team going through it. And teams that handle this situ these situations the best are probably going to do well. Yeah, that's just it's really that simple. So we got to make sure that we're handling it as best we can and making sure that we're doing doing all our due diligence to find out man, who's who's doing what and everything else in regards to that. But um, but like I said, I think that's just the way of the world in college football right now. We got to do a really good job of handling it.